What's up, Scorpio? This is Obsidian Let Us Out. I'm here to do your daily for the 10th of October, 2020. Before we get started, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support. Also, um, if you'd like to donate to my channel or contact me for any reason, if you'd like a personal reading, that information is also going to be in the description box below, that email address for my contact. So, um, getting started, guys, I just want to talk about the energy that I was picking up. Um, I've kind of held off on doing a reading for a couple of days um, just because when I kind of was like praying, all right, in my own stuff, right? But then kind of like um, thinking about doing a Scorpio reading and praying for protection. Um, I was driving down the road and I was kind of like just meditating on the energy, thinking about it. I was on my way home and um, this car drives past me, okay? Um, as soon as I'd said this prayer and I said the prayer, um, and this is more geared towards like some stuff that I had going on with me personally, but I was also thinking about the energy of the collective too, to do a reading and the prayer that I said, um, you know, is basically asking God to protect me, um, to pre protect me, my child, protect my family. Um, this car drives by, um, just for the energy of the prote of protection, right? And then thinking about, you know, I kind of go into, I say prayers before I meditate to you anyway, to protect me and the energy that I'm bringing myself into anyway, right? So with saying this prayer, my like little ritual prayer before I get into that, um, on the way home and like this car passes by me and the license plate says end of days. And I just kind of like, um, had to stop and like catch my breath for a second. And it was very cryptic and it's something that I was just like, you know, it feels like it, you know, I don't know, um, how religious anybody is that watches this channel and I'm not going to go into all that either. Um, but you know, um, a lot of things are going on in the world that are pretty crazy. Right. Um, but also it kind of, you know, and playing and the message that I got was, you know, um, I feel like for somebody, the protection, um, when you're asking for protection or if you're watching this reading and you've been asking for protection or for something that's been going on, either that person um, is going to be like in their end of days, right? Um, they might be, um, unfortunately, um, somebody might get sick, whatever, I don't know, um, or they might just be in their last days, right? Or you might just be going through your last days of needing protection, okay? That was the kind of the the message that I was getting from that. Um and so kind of kind of crazy, right? You know, I'm not trying to start off the reading like <laughs> um I don't know, you know, I just for me, I kind of it just really it made me think for a minute, you know, um, made me think like, you know, I'm grateful for my blessings, God, you know, I'm grateful for my blessings universe. Um, thankful for everything that I do have right now. Um, and feel fortunate to have what I do cause it could be much worse, right? There's so many, um, people in the world right now that have less than I do, even though what I don't, what I have isn't like, you know, I don't, I'm not driving a luxurious car. I don't live in a luxurious house and, you know, I don't have a whole lot of, support or you know what I mean it's all on me basically you know oh what was me I can get in it for for a little while but I do I am blessed right um and so the message I also got with that was you know um and asking for protection to be grateful and thankful for what I have been provided right um and so the message just just it was just kind of like I felt like it kind of gave me like a relief, a relief, a sigh of relief. And I felt like that for the collective too, for this energy, Scorpio, it was just kind of like whatever you feel like you needed protection from, I feel like that the days of you feeling like you need that protection are ending is basically the message I feel like I needed to give. Okay. Cause when I did my pre-shuffle, this couldn't be involving third party energy. Third party energy doesn't necessarily have to involve um, third party lover romantic energy, right? This can also be um, energy of uh, family, friends, something that there's more than one person involved that's caused you a lot of heartache, okay? Um, when I was doing the pre-shuffle, these cards and meditating on your energy before we get started came out. And that's why I brought up what I needed, what I just felt like I needed to bring up, right? Because the energy... Um, 
for me, this is having working hard, right, for everything you have energy, okay? This is your money. This is you working hard for everything you have. The energy of being very generous and caring and giving, right? But that being taken advantage of with um, deception, betrayal, theft, okay? Some really, like, dirty... Um, stuff right that shouldn't have been done to you okay we have air energy earth energy libra energy justice justice being served justice could be served on a libra or this could just mean legal system justice with a situation with theft money whatever i feel like it's something that possibly you either worked hard for or you've put in a lot of hard work um and i feel like basically that's the universe saying scorpio i feel like whatever you've needed to be protected from that is coming to an end. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say a little prayer real quick before we actually get into the tarot reading real quick. God, angels, guides, please help provide me with any messages for Scorpio sun, moon rising for October 10th, 2020. I'm go ahead and shuffle the deck real quick and put your cards messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, 2020. The collective energy, I just feel like there's a lot you've already went through, right, experienced, um, and it's just kind of like spirit, you know, keep your head up, keep your head up. So you're in the end of the days of whatever you've needed protection from, okay? Whatever, yeah, new beginning. Look, as soon as I'm talking about this, you have a new beginning coming your way. All this patience and hard work that you've put in is going to actually pay off, right? Um, what do we have? Judgment right away, okay? Um, At the bottom of the deck for the overall reading, we do have this magician energy. I feel like there's tricky energy around you still, Scorpio. If it's not around you now, it's the energy of what's been around you recently, right? Um, we do have the judgment, though, here showing up as a card for your energy. Um, we have the Eight of Cups, which is you, I feel like, leaving a situation that hurt you. It was painful, okay? This could not, this could be a person, family friend, business, work, okay, there's been some sort of judgment concerning a large amount of money. Um, this is also endings, right? So um, this is inheritance, um, leaving a legacy, this can be a marriage, leaving a marriage. Um, there's some sort of a judgment though concerning leaving a situation with a lot of money that you've put a lot of hard work into, right? So this is mastering your craft. Um, I feel like for somebody, there's an energy of like mastering a craft, being very, very um, strong-minded or strong-willed when it comes to um, work, right? Uh, work ethic, um, putting in hard work, okay? When you're putting in this hard work, this is what you're doing it for, this legacy, this building your future, right? Um, I feel like for somebody, whatever's happened in this situation, I feel like whatever you felt like you need justice for, whatever this magician energy is over here, that's kind of in the energy of the overall reading, tricky, right? This judgment is, is there's being a judgment passed. And I feel like that goes along with the message at the beginning of the reading, right? So, the judgment being passed in this situation is you're not going to have to worry about that energy anymore. Okay. Whatever this was, you felt like you needed protection from is leaving. Okay. Now, whether this energy is leaving because they're scared of some kind of repercussion as far as legal matters are concerned is a good possibility. We're going to get the, uh, um, my clarifying deck out and see, because there's a painful ending down here. Um, we have earth, water, air energy, um, but after this painful ending, right, um, this is somebody feeling, there's a, this is a complete and painful ending. Like, it, it is over. Whatever has gone on is ending, right? This is a Knight of Wands not coming in. So, if this is an energy that was coming in for you, I feel like this may have been this tricky energy, Scorpio. An energy coming in, right, um, has been defeated. Okay. You're going to have success and victory in whatever was going on with you. Um, let's see.
ahead, help us elaborate on what this judgment is for Scorpio and the Eight of Cups. The judgment and Eight of Cups for Scorpio. Help us elaborate on what this judgment is and the Eight of Cups for Scorpio. I just saw the strength card too, and I, when, as soon as I was looking at the strength card, I heard, don't forget who you are, okay? So, Scorpio, don't forget who you are, right? So, really hold on to that strength, how strong you are, how much you've been through already, how much you know, or how well you know how to transform through um different difficulties or re um reinventing yourself even career wise um everything you know you're you're we're the queens and kings of, i'm a scorpio too of transformation right so you're like the the phoenix rising from the ashes um that's you right so i just remember who you are continue to remember who you are and all that you're going through right now in your moments of feeling like god please protect me how much more do i have to go through how you know remember who the fuck you are okay and like i like i got that message immediately when i was saying that prayer be open be open to the universe giving you the answers that you need right be open to receiving them okay because um you have to be an element or be open to receive these messages too, right? In order to, you know, take action or continue to take action or to really even acknowledge that, you know, what you're, what you're doing as far as meditation and prayer and, and really believing in your heart that it's, that it's your, those, those questions are being answered. You have to be open to even seeing or receiving these messages, right? So, that's the energy I feel like, you know, I feel like you need to be in. Okay. Um, the Hierophant energy here. This could have been a marriage situation or um, this can also represent legal matters as well. Okay. With the judgment here. Hmm. Um, Taurus and Scorpio energy. Um, I feel like there is some kind of a situation that possibly is coming up that could either, or it either has to do with some sort of a legal situation, legal matters, or there is somebody that could possibly be getting in trouble for some sort of a legal situation and they're leaving. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The devil and then the wheel of fortune. Okay, um, Capricorn energy. So the Wheel of Fortune is a change in partner, but I feel like this is like the devil uh, can be in relationships. It can mean a change in partner. I feel like for this reading, possibly Scorpio, uh, the devil with the Wheel of Fortune. I, I feel like with the Eight of Cups here, trying to clarify what the Eight of Cups is, this devil is taking a change of atmosphere or moving to a different uh, atmosphere, uh, I just heard victim. Uh, so whatever this person does or is doing or has been doing for somebody, that energy, I feel like it's an energy of you aren't alone. Okay. An energy of somebody, this is a job for them. Maybe they do this to several people, whatever was being done to you. I don't know. But this devil energy is looking for a different partner, different place to go. Okay. Um, Ace of Cups, okay? You have the Ace of Cups coming in here with the Ten of uh, Pentacles. So I feel like everything that you've been through, Scorpio, is basically, you didn't go through it for no reason, okay? Um, basically, you went through it to transform, right? And everything that you went through, I think that you didn't go through in vain. We've got the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here. So there is a complete ending with a shit from the past with the Ten, right? The Ten of Pentacles, though, I feel like for you also is though this large amount of money, this new inspiration, this new relationship. I feel like new relationship and money is here. It's coming, okay? Your hard work is paying off, okay? So I feel like just keep in mind, like I said in the beginning in the message that I got for you guys was strong, like, you know, whatever that you've needed protection from, whatever this devil energy <laughs> has been for you, you're not going to have to worry about that anymore. However, that resonates with, I mean, hopefully, I don't know if, if it, if it's a situation, somebody's just removing themselves, 
if God is removing them from this planet, if whatever is happening, you're not going to have to worry about it anymore. And I'm, I'm only standing firm in this message is because I'm telling you, when I prayed that and saw that license plate, I was like, all right, God, loud and clear. Something's in, in the end of days for whatever protection we need right now in this situation. It is coming to an end. Message heard loud and clear, right? So eight of pentacles. This is the eight of pentacles. Hard work is going to pay off, all right? Your hard work is paying off. Um, so... Whatever you've worked hard for, put in hard work for, Scorpio. Yes, you've been through it, right, with the King of Cups. This is your energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You've stayed calm through the storm, okay? So see how there's all the, the waves crashing down around him in this chair that he's in. He's got like a teacup or something on his knee. Like everything is just crazy around him, but he's fine, right? You are an, you're emotional. You've kept your shit together through some heavy shit. I feel like is the message here. You've worked hard. You've kept your shit together through some very emotional stuff. Excuse my language. I know I cuss a little bit, but, and I feel like because of this, you're going to be reaping benefits. Okay. What is this nine of wands energy for the emperor? So it could have been Aries energy. This person is no longer coming towards you. Um, <laughs> I always joke around and say this looks like Drake. It totally does. Okay. Um, a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Anyway. Um, <laughs> we're going to listen to another. I'm upset, right? So whoever this was, they're not coming towards you anymore, right? In, in the energy of I'm upset. I got to find somewhere else to go. Shit isn't working out in my favor here in this situation, moving right along, right? So, um, painful ending for someone, okay? Air energy. Let's see. What is this? Ten of Swords energy for Scorpio. What is this? Ten of Swords energy for Scorpio. What is this? Ten of Swords energy about for Scorpio. Well, that's way too many, but let's see what's up with it, right? So we have Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords, the Empress, and Justice. All right, so um, Justice again. We saw this at the beginning of the reading, right? So Libra Energy, Justice. You're going to have, you have had justice in a situation. Maybe that's what the painful ending is, right? You're in your Empress Energy. Nothing can get past you, bitch, right? So... <laughs> I feel like that, and I'm sorry I'm cussing, but come on, Scorpio, right? If you watch me, you already know that I do, but I feel like this is the energy of, I'm an empress, right? And I'm in this energy, and um, when you're in that energy, it's kind of like you can see through everyone. Like, uh, you're, you're at such a high vibration that anybody that comes towards you or close to you with any bullshit on some fuck shit, right? If they come towards you, you see right through it. Like anybody that's on lower vibrational, that's like vibing on low vibrational frequencies and acting in low vibrational manners, it's just kind of like, ah, you know, it almost like you can even feel it in your stomach. Um, people like for me, um, I don't even need to talk to people sometimes if I can feel it, right? Um, uh, and most of the time, if, if I feel like they're full of shit, <laughs> I just don't say anything. I just keep it moving, right? So um, with the Nine of Swords here, you're like, I'm not going to be stressed out. With uh, Nine of Swords, this is anxiety, losing sleep. Um, Queen of Swords, this is taking no shit. Honesty, right? This is what people like to call, call this card, basically the bitch of the deck, right? But this is the energy yeah, and you're in that Empress energy. Like, I'm not taking any shit. You can come at me and be honest, right? I'm not losing sleep over this shit anymore. I'm not going to feel like anxious anymore. I've already lost enough fucking sleep, right? I want total honesty or I'm out. All right. So I feel like you're having justice with whatever, whatever situation this was. I feel like with the magician card here, this was a very manipulative energy coming towards you, right? Um, underneath it, we have the, um, the two of pentacles, which was two choices, many options. This person was coming at you juggling, okay? For whatever reason. Um, I feel like for whatever reason it was Scorpio though, you figured it out. Okay. So don't feel like it was a good reason either, okay? Um, what is this? Six of Wands? 
Let's elaborate on the Six of Wands because I like that, right? What is the Six of Wands for Scorpio? This energy, the Six of Wands for Scorpio's energy. This is just being successful. You're going to have a victory or be successful in whatever it is you're doing right now. I feel like Scorpio, Three of Coins. So um, this is in reverse. I feel like you're going at it alone is what this really means. Like, and you're going to be successful. I feel like you're in the energy of kind of being scared to you. And maybe that's kind of why you are almost like willing to let whatever this other energy, manipulative energy in a little bit. But uh, Spirit said, no, you got this boo-boo, right? So um, three of coins and reverse. You don't need to even collaborate with that shit. Um, five of wands and reverse. You're not about to get into this energy, this low vibrational energy anymore. You're very defensive about where you've come from, what you've got now, and where you're continuing to go, right? Stay in that Drake energy. I'm upset, right? Defend your fucking self. Defend this shit, right? You worked hard for it. That's the judgment, right? Um, that's why spirit's coming in saying that is the end of the days of you feeling like you need to protect, pray to protect your space, to protect your children, to protect yourself. You're always going to say that prayer. I'm always going to say that prayer, but I feel like that was spirit saying you were coming to the end of the days of that shit. All right. That shit is over. You've got a victory here. Okay. Ace of coins, right? So ace of coins, um, new income, lots of it, lots of money coming in for you. Okay. Um, I like it. I like it, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to pull. Spirit, help us elaborate or help us with any more ugh, messages <laughs> about this reading. What actions will Scorpio be taking or the best advice in the future. What's the best advice for actions that Scorpio might be taking in the future or for the future? If it's a court proceeding, okay, I just heard for somebody, if it has something to do with money, legal matters, somebody uh, like for inheritance or a large amount of money, it could be a divorce, settlement, something, you're going to be victorious in this situation here with the money, okay? That's for somebody. Um, Queen of Swords, this is <laughs> total honesty, right? I feel like this is the energy of best advice moving forward is demand total honesty in any and every situation that you invite into your life. And I don't give a shit if somebody calls you a bitch for it, okay? Tell them I told you to do it. <laughs> All right. Don't be too harsh, though. I can come off as a little too harsh myself. Justice. Justice being served. Libra energy doesn't have to be involving a Libra. That's just the energy of the card. But I feel like with this, truth is coming justice for you. Death and transformation. This is your energy, Scorpio. I'm going to leave this part of the tarot reading there. I feel like that's all I need to say, right? Like, um... See how there's bodies all around this person? And Scorpio is here on the on the horse with the flag. Like you've won the war, right? Um I think that's all there is to it, right? In this situation, whatever you've got going on, just hold on. I feel like Spirit is saying justice is coming. Um, the truth is being revealed, or the truth is coming out. All right. The truth is coming out, Scorpio. Just hold on, okay? What other advice do we have for Scorpio? Queen of Cups. Um, don't be scared to also, I feel like because of what you've been through, be scared to offer your love or give your love to anybody. Um, this is the energy of wanting to give your, your heart to somebody, um, being that emotionally supportive partner, caring, loving person. Don't let what you've been through take that away from you, okay? Maybe you don't need to be the harsh, harsh, <laughs> come across as a harsh bitch all the time, right? But you did get justice in a situation because of that, I feel like. So, um, I'm going to leave that part of the reading there for you, Scorpio. I hope that resonated with someone. I'm going to get my yin and yang oracle deck out and see if we have a few more messages for you really quick.
Spirit, help us with any more messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding this reading. Feminine energy. This is either you or somebody you're dealing with. Okay. Divine feminine energy. Separation. Okay. Um, maybe you're longing for someone or you've been in separation from somebody and you're thinking about them. Um, the energy of self-care, which has been all over this reading. Like the energy of self-care for me with this is like... Being willing to say whatever it is that you feel like, speak your truth, right? Um, you can't speak your truth if you're not in the energy of really being, um, <laughs> taking care of yourself, spiritually, mentally. Um, and because of this, you're going to be celebrating gifts and abundance now in your life, okay? I think that's going to be it for you, Scorpio. Um, I like the reading. I hope it was helpful. Again, if you'd like a more in-depth personal reading, please feel free to email me um, if you'd like a personal reading. Um, that information is also going to be in the description box below. If you'd like to donate to my channel or contact me, like I said, that information is in the description box. Love and light. Bye.